So as you can see over here on my timeline, I've added a basic background onto my timeline here. Now the next thing I want to do is to create a text. But to create this text, I'm not going to be creating it in my Essential Graphics panel. I'm going to move over to File, New, and Legacy Title to create this text. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to select my Type tool over here. I'm just going to type Premiere Pro. Okay, let me change the fill color now so you can see it clearer. Now I'm going to hit my selection tool over here and increase the scale of my text. Next thing I'll do is to select a font here that is more bold. It doesn't really matter the font that you pick. I'll just go ahead with this black and I'll center align it. Now the next thing I want to do is to add a texture to this text. So I'm going to scroll down and under my fill type opacity, I'm going to find sheen and texture. Now I'm going to select texture and select this arrow beside texture. Now I'm going to move over to this transparent grid next to texture and select it. I have a lot of graphics over here on my timeline and I'm just going to select any one and automatically that text is going to assume the texture of that graphics. So I'm going to select these graphics for example and as you can see automatically this text has assumed the texture of that graphics. I can change it to something else. I can select this video over here and automatically this text is going to assume the texture of that video let me just go ahead and select one more option select this hit ok and this text has assumed the nature of that graphics now if you want to add custom texture to a shape or a graphics all you need to do is to create that shape so i'm just going to select this rectangle shape over here and create a shape over here now I can change the texture by coming down to texture and select this texture and select any of the graphics over here for example this and automatically we have given this shape this texture. So basically guys I'm just letting you guys know how to use this texture feature in Premiere Pro. I hardly see it being used. Apply this to your next project and see how it works. And that's it guys on how to add texture to your text or graphics in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.